Rank choice voting is an election system in which a voter can rank candidates in order of preference. At least three candidates are needed for rank choice voting to work, and a winner is determined through elimination rounds until a candidate reaches more than 50 percent. Because of this procedure, rank choice is also called instant runoff voting. There are rules in place for multiple winner elections and one winner elections, but let's just focus on one winner elections here. Let's say we have four candidates, A, B, C, and D. After everyone's votes are submitted, all of the first column votes in this graphic, your first pick is tabulated. Let's say the results look like this. B has the most votes at 52%. Well, that means that candidate B wins the election with the majority of votes and the process ends. Or it could look like this. No candidate has more than 50% of the vote, which means we go to round two. The first thing we do is eliminate the least voted for candidate in the race, in this case, candidate C. The votes are now tabulated again, but this time we count the backup candidates for voters who ranked C first. It looks like the majority of C supporters prefer candidate D as their second pick, but a candidate isn't over 50% yet, so we go to round three. You probably understand the process at this point. Candidate D gets eliminated, and that 24% of votes is distributed to the remaining two candidates using C supporter third preferred candidate and candidate D supporter second preferred candidate. And there you have it. The majority of voters prefer candidate A. All right, you got that? <laughs> Here are two common questions we have heard. Do I need to rank all of the candidates? No. It's encouraged you at least vote for your first choice, and then you rank however many you choose. But understand this, if you only vote for a first choice and that candidate is eliminated, then your vote will be discarded from that race due to no second ranked choice vote. Either way, it's OK. Second question, what if my second choice was already eliminated? Well, if a new round starts and your next preferred choice was eliminated, then your following choice is counted in the race. And this also applies if you accidentally skip a column when you vote as well. If no second choice was given, but a third was, then your third choice will be considered your second choice. That's called skipped ranking, 